David is here to talk about some of the latest films. So David, you've seen three films. Can you start with The Drop? Well, The Drop is a, um, a crime film set in um, New York, Brooklyn. And the drop of the title is sort of it's a drop bar where sort of gangsters go and take the money and it's sort of picked up at a later date. But it's it is a crime drama, but it's not really about sort of the gangster element, it's more sort of the sort of low life, average people just trying to sort of get a better life. It stars um, Tom Hardy, who is that sort of immersive in his roles. It's only after the film I realised that he played Bane in um, The Dark Knight Rises, so it's, he's quite a completely different character here, so he's excellent. It also stars James Gandolfini in his um, final role. He unfortunately died last year, so this is the final chance people will have to see him. And I think that's the sort of real selling part of the film. It's a decent film, but for me it's not sort of remarkable in any way. It's just sort of an average drama. It's fine for a Friday night if you're looking to say something but it's there are better films out there. All right, thank you, David. And the other film you've seen this week? Another film I've seen is um, 2001: A Space Odyssey. This is Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece from the 1960s. The BFI had done a sci-fi season, and central to that, they've re-released this at cinemas nationwide. It is for me perhaps the most essential film to see at this the cinema this year. I always say that the cinema is the best place to watch films, but you don't necessarily have the best choice to watch. This is the best choice. It's absolutely pure visual cinema. It's not an easy going film. It's quite difficult to follow in places. It's not really about the narrative at all, but just as something to watch at the cinema, there isn't anything better, really. It's on quite limited runs at The View and the um, Cine World, so you'll have to check out the websites. But if you can see it, definitely go and see it. Okay, thank you, David. Thank you.